there is a way to stream your show so you can watch it without necessarily having uh, the Cowboy Channel on your cable provider. Yes, well, uh, the Cowboy Channel is a, is a subsidiary area of uh, the RFD TV. Right. Which is uh, which you can stream from RFD TV. I don't have on with me exactly the you know the the link, but. You can actually stream it from RFD, and that's what that's how it's uh, that's how the rest of the world is looking at it. You know, so many people have figured right. out. You know, I'm not a, I'm not a genius at that myself. If I didn't have younger <laughs> kids around me, I would have, I would have oh, no I know idea the, what was going. I know yeah. the words to that song backwards and forwards. And, <laughs> as yeah. as I tell people, I'm not a techie. If I was a techie, I, I'm not a techie. That's why I became a radio guy because you know I don't have to. I've got. <laughs> You get people to do that stuff for you. You don't do it yourself. Sure you do. Yeah. I mean, we, we remember we started demos on four tracks. <laughs> real, yeah. <for> real. <laughs> hey, listen, I was yeah. right there playing your early stuff, too, so I know exactly where you're coming from. As a matter of fact, I was real. well into my career by the time I started playing your stuff. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm amazed I can use a smartphone. I mean, it's, it's, you know, it's yeah. Sometimes I think my yeah. smartphone is smarter than I am, but <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's kind and of I, scary, isn't it? Yeah. I also know, and I, I think I mentioned this on uh, one of our earlier shows that when you came by to visit us, I had a very good friend that I met in college, uh, and he was down in Florida. And he lived out your well, almost out your back door on an adjoining property. And uh, talking about how you guys are, are, are really down home and just the way you are, uh, I know he told me that uh, after he moved into, uh, it was a mobile home on an adjoining property, after he moved in, he heard the music and noise coming from over there. And, uh, you know, <laughs> uh, be, being a normally, you know, curious person, he just sort of wandered over and he was really amazed at the fact how, uh, it, you know, you just welcomed him like he was one of the boys, and uh, I, that was that was really my first contact with uh, with you guys as a as as people. I didn't know you as anything other than you know music providers at the time. And when he told me that, uh, <laughs> all of a sudden I was wishing I was living with him on that backdoor property. But uh, I did get by. Yeah, uh, I know I'm. I know we talked about this. I did get by and see your bull you had there one time, and he scared the devil out of me because uh, he took a couple of quick steps towards the fence, and I exited very oh, quickly. Yeah. <laughs> he yeah, was a yeah. big one. Yeah, he's a big one. He's uh, he's passed on. Uh, his head is on my wall. <laughs> so, is it really? Uh, oh. Yeah. He, he, well, well, yeah, he passed a natural. He was there for so many years. We. Uh, he passed. That was Rowdy was his name, named after, uh, you know, the character on Rawhide. And, there you go. Okay. And, yeah. yeah. Well, I'll yeah, tell you, that, that was Rowdy. I, I tell you what you do, Howard, if you ever get a chance, you got you nothing else to do, and you can figure out how to use that smartphone. Uh, if you catch a picture of him hanging on your wall, I'd like to have that to bookend with the one I took of him uh, as he gave me the yeah. look in your field there. I'd love to have a picture of that. <laughs> At least yeah, I could say I outlasted yeah. him. <laughs> I, I think I could figure out how to do that. <laughs> that, that would be awesome. Sure. I, can, I, can, I can put it up there and I can say, yeah, I outlasted Rowdy. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, in addition to this TV show that people are going to love, I, it, people who haven't seen it have got to tune in. I, I'll tell you, folks, if if you like the Bellamy Brothers, then you've got to catch this show. And if you haven't been fans of the Bellamy Brothers, you should be, but uh, you still like the show. This is a... Uh, this is a show for the whole family, and in that respect, it harkens back to the days. I, I think it harkens back to the days of live TV. We pretty much we don't really have a script because there's quite a few real characters in the show with us, and and but we have an outline of what we uh, you know the right. idea of what the show's about, and we just we just we just wing it, you know, and uh, it, it it's working out great, and it and it's a lot of fun. I mean, honestly, I had reservations. The, the first episode actually was about uh, uh, the whole family getting together and deciding whether we should do this thing or not. You know, that was the, what the first right. episode was about. So we eventually took it to, we live near Wikiwachi Springs, which has mermaids and, 
Right. You know, there was uh, there was always there was always locally a folklore about the wisdom of the mermaids. So we went over and asked the mermaids, should we do should we do this <laughs> show? And, you know, and uh, you know, such crazy things as that. So yeah, it's it's a lot of fun. Uh, and it comes through. It, it definitely comes through. Now, before we run out of time here, and I, we've got uh, what we got about a minute and a half left here to talk. I want to be sure and touch upon your book. And I'm I'm not going to go into uh, you know I'm I'm not going to give away anything. I don't want to go into some of the stuff that's in there uh, because uh, it, it's just something you've got to read for yourself. Uh, but the uh, Tell tell the people about the book you have out. And by the way, thank you guys. I love my copy of it, and uh, I, I want you to share it with the people. Tell it's it's really these guys. It, it's like you were sitting down as we are right now talking to these guys. Well, thank you, David. Yeah, we, you know, it was well. It's been forty two years, so we decided we'd better write this thing, or we may not be able to write it soon. You know, <laughs> and. and uh, there's, there's so many, were so many stories trying to sort the stories out. It was, it was a task. It, it really two years to, to get it done and, and finish with our, our schedule the way it is, and, and getting it in sequence. You know, getting it sequenced was really hard, and getting each, the dates on each story, and, and you know, there's some things, there's things in there I'm, <laughs> I was reluctant to put in there but you know then then we said well why have a book if we don't tell the truth and what really happened you know and sure and i think that's what people want to hear and and uh so we we told a lot of stories and like i say some we probably shouldn't have told <laughs> <laughs> well i i think that uh I think the uh, the people are really going to enjoy it if they haven't already read it. I urge you to go out, get a copy of it, and uh, maybe uh, when the boys come to your neck of the woods, you can go and see them. You might even be able to get them to autograph a copy for you. Uh, but definitely want to read the book. Like I said, reading the book is kind of like sitting and uh, and talking to the boys and and listening to their stories. It is uh, it's. A great concept. I like the way you presented it. It's really, really nice. Well, thank I, I, you so much. I want you to be sure, and uh, I want to thank you for coming and spending some time with us today. Be sure and give our thanks to David as well. And also uh, want to thank uh, Wally, who I was talking to. I understand he's uh, not on the road with you right now. He's had some problems of his own. Uh, but uh, extend our best wishes to Wally and to really all the people on your staff. You've got a great bunch there. It's a, always a pleasure talking to them, and they work so hard to make sure that we can make connections and uh, make arrangements to have you boys come on the show. We really do appreciate it. Well, thank you, David, and thanks for those words about Wally. Yes, he was with us uh, 36 years, and he's he's had some you know some problems, and and you know, and I guess the miles kind of caught up with him, but but he's doing better, and uh, I think he's going to be going to be good for a new year, few years. But I think the road just uh, too much for him these days, so. I understand that. He's a great guy. I really enjoyed meeting him and uh, and getting to know him and all of your crew. As I said, it, just a great bunch to work with. Thanks again, Howard. Well, we look forward to having you guys back. Maybe you bring Dave along with you next time. I remember the last time uh, you couldn't make it. Dave stopped by, and we had a lot of fun with him. Even though he didn't, he was kind of anxious about whether he'd be able to get through it or not. We uh, always have a wonderful <laughs> time talking to you guys. <laughs> Thanks again. Well, we we'll look forward. To We'll look forward to next time, Howard. Thank you, David. Take care. And tell everyone hello. You too. Best to both right, of you, now. ladies and gentlemen. Howard Bellamy of the Bellamy Brothers. And here to close our show, another Bellamy classic. This is Stayin' in Love, the Bellamy Brothers, with Freddie Fender and Flaco Jimenez. Well, the man can be charmed by some lipstick. And a sexy smile And the woman is thrilled when he says I will And they walk down the aisle But when the honeymoon's over and the license is framed on the wall Staying in love is the hardest part of it all 
Qué bonita era ella y qué bien parecido era él. Él muy alto y fornido mientras ella se asoleaba su piel. Ay, cuando se acuerdan los dos y quieren llorar. Ay, que mucho trabajo es querer sin querer trabajar. The sun and the stars, they don't always shine. Every night she's not dressed to the night. The kids and the bills, they don't ever stop. Lord knows it's getting just a little thin on top. Pero en cosas de amor se requiere siempre ganar. Staying in love is the hardest part of it all. But they swear they'd do it the same If they had the chance to do it again Después de una luna de miel Se ponen a pensar Staying in love is the hardest part of it all Después de una luna de miel Se ponen a pensar Staying in love is the hardest part of it all. The Bellamy Brothers, and we thank uh, both Howard Bellamy and also Crystal Dene for joining us here today on the David Bowers Awards. We are out of time, so we're going to wrap it up real quick. We want to thank our guests again. We want to thank you, our listeners. And we want to remind you that we're on every week on Blog Talk Radio. 2 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time here in the United States. Uh, Check your local listings for the time in your neighborhood. Be sure and follow us on all the the usual social media places, of course, here on Blog Talk Radio, also on Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, and all the others. Thank you so much, and uh, remember, we love you. This is the point where I'd normally say, take us home. 